Welcome to Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Hi, I'm Melinda, Pastor Moore's daughter. Welcome to our broadcast. Relax and enjoy our teaching. You are awake. Okay, that's a good thing. All right, well, we got a skit for you today. It's about this young man who has just become a Christian, and he's trying to learn about the right things and what to do. So he's got a buddy here that's at church with him, and he's going to talk with him and help him out. So you all ready to listen and see what these guys are up to? Well, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. I've been really busy. Busy? Doing what? Accessorizing. Excuse me? You know, I just recently became a Christian. Well, I've spent the last month going to every Christian bookstore in town, and I'm now a fully accessorized man of God. What are you talking about? Look, I got a Jesus fish for my car, a great big cross to wear around my neck, a Bible to carry around with me, a hug if you love Jesus bumper sticker, and all these Jesus shirts. Why did you get all this stuff? So people will know I'm a Christian wherever I go. Look, Joe, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I think you have the wrong idea. How do you mean? Look! Have you been to youth group within the last month? No, I've been busy shopping! How about service projects? Have you been involved serving at a homeless shelter, donating time to a food kitchen, things like that? Well, not really. How often do you pray? Well, I asked God to help me find this bumper sticker last week. Do you understand the problem yet? Not really. Okay. Let's say you went and fixed up your Volvo so that it looked exactly like a Porsche. You could probably convince your friends that it was a Porsche, right? Probably, yeah. Now, if you were to take that same car to a mechanic, would you be able to convince him that your Volvo was a Porsche? No way. Why not? Well, because a mechanic would know the difference between a Volvo engine and a Porsche engine. And if you took your car out on the freeway, would you be able to go as fast as a Porsche? No, you can't change a car's performance just by altering its appearance. Joe, a Christian is an awful lot like a car. Oh, you lost me again. Listen, if you wear those shirts, carry that Bible, and stick all that stuff on your car, you will probably convince most people that you're a Christian. Great, but people aren't the ones you have to impress. There's a mechanic by the name of Jesus Christ that is much more interested by what's on the inside than what's on the outside. He wants to know if you are what you appear to be. And there's also a freeway called life that will test you to find out the very same thing. Okay, let me see if I got this. Christianity isn't something I can wear. Christianity is something I have to do. It's the performance that really counts. Very good, and? And it isn't important that people know I'm a Christian, only that Jesus knows. Now you've got the picture. So, if I start doing service projects and pray a lot, then I'll be a Christian? Joe, your faith is between you and your mechanic. If you need to know what Jesus wants from you, pray and ask him. I don't pretend to know the formula for your Christianity. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't involve little Jesus fish and bumper stickers. Hey, where are you going? Going to talk to my mechanic. Great. Oh, and Joe? What? What are you going to do with all that stuff? I think I'll go down to Central Park. I'm sure somebody down there needs it much more than I do. Okay, so did y'all get the point of it? Yeah. Being a Christian isn't necessarily on the outside. doesn't matter what you wear, what you put on, what you do as far as things that you look like. Just because you wear a Jesus t-shirt doesn't mean you're like Jesus. Just because you got a Jesus bumper sticker on your car doesn't mean that you're like Jesus. It's what's on the inside that counts. But what works for me might not work for you. You've got to talk to Jesus and find out what Jesus wants you to do and do that. Then you're going to be a Christian and you're going to be a disciple of Jesus. So you find that out by prayer. So y'all pray and find out what Jesus wants y'all to do and then do it. And then you'll be a Christian, okay? God bless. Love y'all. Have a great time in class today. All that stuff that he had bought. 
I, I, you know, the, the fish and all those things. That was what was in the bucket. You actually put it in that bucket. You'll have to look in the bucket and see. Not now. You got class. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>